welcome back. So today we are gonna be checking out our raised garden bed area. A few weeks back, we planted some transplants. We also planted some seeds. And so we'll see how things are progressing and looking today. So let's get started. So in the first barrel, we have our mint. We have some alisum. We will be trimming back. We have our chrysanthemums, but those are kind of a little sad right now because of the climate and the weather, but it still has some some green on there. So these are not completely dead. They just need to be cut way back. Uh, and then they will actually come back probably in fall. Same for these, this guy here. And then in our first raised garden bed, We've got our beautiful lettuces looking good. This is a, actually a um, calendula I planted from seed. It's doing all right. It got a little sad just because there was a tomato plant that was currently right next to it here in this space that was blocking the sunlight for it. So it's actually doing pretty good considering all things. I didn't know if it was gonna make it. Here we've got some different types of garlic here. We've got Mexican and California garlic. And then we've got some cilantro. A few radishes here in this spot. And more calendula flowers. And some spinach. So I planted a spinach in this row here. More garlic. And some spinach here. And we've got a lettuce calendulas and then some climbing peas so these are sugar snap peas then in our next bed over we've got another variety of lettuces and some red creole onions starting to get some sprouts there lobelias chives some flowers this is actually another chrysanthemum he's faring quite well considering a little bit of frost there on the ends but not too shabby we've got our overwintered jalapeno plant here with some more calendulas and garlic this here is a celery some more cilantro and garlic and these ones here are shelling bush peas Here we've got some of those beautiful Johnny Jump Ups. I love these. Are probably my absolute favorite. I have a lot of favorites, but this one takes the cake. Got a nice lettuce head there and some kale. And let's see here. Oh, and we've got some new, these are stardom lettuce sprouts. Looks like those are coming up nicely. Try to get a lot of different types of lettuce so that way we have a nice mix to use for salad sandwiches and different things. Here we also have our ginormous celery. This celery I actually planted last spring. And to be honest with you, when I planted these, I didn't think they were gonna make it because it got real hot shortly after. Our summer came quicker than I had wanted it to. And surprisingly, I was able to help them along until this winter when they just absolutely thrived. So very cool. Beets, let's see if we have a beet. I do see a sprout there. I am looking forward to growing another round of beets and we're going to try some new recipes this year. And if you have any ideas for some recipes or things that you like to eat with beets, write them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you and get some inspiration, some ideas. Sugar snap peas. Love, love, love these. The kids love snacking on them. This one's already starting to blossom. So we'll be able to enjoy some yummy sugar snap peas here shortly. Love it. Oh, and there's one right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Lobelias are one of my favorite flowers. I just feel like they are so gorgeous and they add a, just a nice, unique color to the garden beds. In our family, we love onions, and so we made sure to plant a lot of seeds and hopefully we'll be getting a ton of those we got some celery here in the center 
our calendulas. Also another beautiful addition to any garden bed and it also is great to attract those pollinators into your garden. We've got our strawberries here with our Swiss chard. This kind of was a happy accident that I planted the Swiss chard with the strawberries. In the summertime, the Swiss chard provided a lot of shade for them. And now in the winter time, I feel like it's also providing some protection as well. So we have been very fortunate that we did that. I totally was an accident, but I am so glad I did. So Swiss chard and strawberries, who knew? So as you can see, we have our beautiful blossoming broccoli. We have been munching on this for the last few months. And uh, I think in retrospect, the only regret I have is that I didn't plant more. I highly recommend people to grow things, even if it feels like, oh, it's only a dollar at the grocery store. It is so worth growing your own. And when we uh, steamed it, we had just a beautiful dark color. It was just absolutely gorgeous and delicious. All right, so I was pretty much chased out of there by one of those big giant bees. I hate those things. <laughs> all right, guys, well, that is all for today's video. As always, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. We do appreciate that. And good luck to you guys in your own gardens. I hope you found this content inspiring, and we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.